Hey, what's up everyone? First of all, you might have noticed a new table background here. These are from Replica Surfaces, and they were not cheap, but I wanted to have a stark clean look for the videos moving forward. And since product reviews, in my opinion, should be all about the product, in this case, a watch, I wanted to highlight the watch even more and have a background that will look good with any watch and have a clean aesthetic. Uh, as I said, they're not cheap, and no, they did not send them to me, but I found a coupon code online that got me 20% off, bringing the price to around $130 for two. Uh, check them out if you're looking for some nice-looking and portable backdrops for table photography. I will put a picture of the setup here in the video. Oh yeah, the title of this video is Audaz Octomarine. Uh, here comes the review. All right, the Adaz Octomarine. Admittedly, I had really not heard or seen of Adaz watches until recently when seeing one from an Instagram post from an account I follow. Maybe I did and I don't remember, but to me, they're a new brand. They're definitely not a new brand though, as I found some reviews going back at least four years, and they seem, about to, have, uh, they seem to have about 11 models on their site for sale as well. So a lot of times I try and do my own research and see what info I can find on the company just from looking at their website, you know, before I ask the brand for any info. So I like to see how easy it is to find out who and what they are all about. In this case, without actually watching other watch reviews I see out there, uh, they are based in Hong Kong and they ship from Hong Kong. Uh, that is what I know. I honestly do not know more than that, but it would seem to be like a lot of other Asian produced micro brands and majority of their designs are very similar to some other micro brands or mainstream brands as well. So with this Octomarine, you seemingly get a plethora of specs many expect on any watch these days, it seems. And as you can see on the screen, this one has pretty much got it all. Sapphire crystal, solid end link bracelet, ceramic bezel, and even the amazing HRV, or in this case, the HEV, you know, in case you're gonna be in a diving chamber anytime soon. But hey, it's there, just in case, just in case. Ceramic, bin, uh, ceramic bezel inserts seem to be an absolute must for dive watches these days, as I see many comments from you guys when a diver does not have them. Me, I've come to find I do not really care. To be honest, I like a matte ceramic insert, but most of the time a good DLC bezel insert or even a matte aluminum insert would be my personal choice. Oh, and about this ceramic bezel insert, it's not really set properly into the bezel. I noticed this on the day it arrived. When I emailed Sean, my contact at the company about it, I was told he would check into it and get back to me. A few days later, I was told this is normal and that a 8.10 millimeter gap for minimal clearance to set the bezel with 3M tape is put in place or otherwise it could crack or chip. That's all well and good if it was like that all the way around the bezel. In my example, at least, it's pretty flush at the top half of the watch, but the bottom half is where I notice the gap the most. The bezel action is actually pretty good though, uh, no real back play, and I have to say, I love this crown. This is a 42 millimeter watch, but with this crown, it feels noticeably larger. And this massive crown with that PBD metal surround not only allows for a better grip, but I like the rugged, uh, dare I say, manly look it evokes. Speaking of this crown, looking on their site, they have another model with this, the Reef Diver. The Reef Diver is a very similar looking watch to this Octomarine, but with a bigger case at 45 millimeters and a different bezel and hands, but it does appear to be in the same family, if you will. When you look at other models, you can see many are homages, such as the sub homage that they have on their lineup. But as far as I know, this is an original design, or at least so far a factory original design no one else has used yet. The dial here is pretty standard as well, nothing outstanding or unique, but a clean dial, large hour and minute hands on the dial, and the blue example is a blue sunray, but there are a few other options you could check out as well. At the time of this recording, I noticed that the gray dial is already sold out. One thing I noticed when looking at some other Adaz watches but they, it was that they used to have a big A wing logo above the word Adaz on the dial. They have done away with this on this model and a few others recently. Brand names can be hit and miss across the board, not with just micro brands. And Adaz as well, it's not my favorite. I'll leave it at that. 
I know you saw the price on the screen, but I wanted to talk about it here for a minute before I get into the rest of the details. The price listed is $400, but Adas has given me a discount code for 30% off. Except that code is worthless considering you can go to the Adas website and sign up for the newsletter and get the same 30% off. So no, no real need for a code from Watch Report, I guess unless you don't want to sign up to your 500th newsletter that's going to get stuck in the promotions folder that most of us never see. Hey, did you know Watch Report has a newsletter? We do not spam you every month, only occasionally. And if you want to sign up for that, the link is in the description of all the videos. So back to the Octomarine. Case finishing, bracelet, case back, all are just fine here. With discount, this watch is $280. At that price, it really is hard to knock for all you get, but just know that this watch has a dull finish to the steel, especially on the bracelet. Now I know what a brushed finish is. This, if you have seen other levels of finishing, you know what I mean. But again, I do not expect it to look like a Raven, for example, or a Sin, or a Zin, excuse me, or a Rolex. It's a $400 watch discounted to $280, which means it's really a $280 watch. Overall, this watch feels solid, and so far I have not seen any other issues other than the slight bezel gap. The bracelet and case does not have any sharp edges, nor does the case back with that nice deeply stamped octopus, and the loom is pretty good as well. I don't love the brand name, and there are countless options available in the micro-brand world of dive watches, but for the price, I would say this one is not bad at all, and I really do love that crown. If you want the watch report discount, it'll be in the description below, but like I said, you can get that same discount through the Adaz website as well. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if so, you know the drill by now. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. It is always greatly appreciated, and if you have any questions that I had not addressed here in, or in the written review, please ask them below, and I will do my best to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Talk to you on the next one.